Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Pete Olson, the Montana Silver Stacker. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. And uh, today I'm bringing you a message of three questions that every network marketer needs to answer for themselves personally. Okay? You need to really look inside and say, hey, what are my answers to these three uh, specific questions? Because they'll really kind of be the telltale of where you are in your mind, where you are in your business, so on and so forth. Okay, so let's get to question number one. If not network marketing, what else am I going to do? If not network marketing, what else am I going to do? Are you going to be a bartender the rest of your life? Um, are you going to live uh, and, and you know work for corporate America for 40 years as an executive, being a slave to the man, dealing with all the politics and corporate pressure and, and all that nonsense? Hmm? You going to work at the department store? W what are you going to do? If not network marketing, what else are you going to do? Where else can you come in with a few hundred dollars, start your own business with no overhead, right? No storefronts, no employees to pay, right? You don't have to do all the marketing plan and websites and the whole nine yards and turn into a multi-million dollar international business. There is nowhere else. So if not network marketing, what else are you going to do? And that's what you need to ask yourself when you think, when you think you're going through a tough time in network marketing. You're really not. But when you think that you are, if not network marketing, what else are you going to do? I fired my boss over 19 years ago in corporate America when I was a big executive in corporate America. Hated it. Hated it. Hated being told what to do, how to do it, where to be, where to travel, what national sales meeting I'm going to go to, right? And I always said to myself, why am I building someone else's dream and work for some moron boss when I can be building my own dream, right? That makes no sense at all. Not only building my huge international multi-million dollar business, but all the phenomenal tax write-offs that come with it. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, if not now, when? If not now, when? I see so many people in network marketing that get in and they don't do shit. And they dabble in it and they treat it like a hobby. They do everything but treat it like the way it should be treated, like a business. Even if it's part-time, you can treat it like a business. Do it the best you possibly can, part-time. But they dabble in it and don't do much. And, and they really, truly look at it as a hobby. If not now, when? Why wouldn't you want to go to the top of your company? If you're going to do it, go to the top of your company. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a lot easier to go to the top of your company than it is at the, to be at the very bottom where you're dwelling with everyone else. It's easier to go to the top of the company because no one's doing it. Right? It takes the faith of a mustard seed, mustard seed to move a mountain. That's all it takes in network marketing, guys, is to have consistent daily action. But if not now, when? You hear some people say, someday, one day. That's where the mind of an unsuccessful person lies. Someday, oh, one day I'll do it. No, you won't. You're not going to do diddly crap. I can tell by your mentality by the words that are coming out of your mouth, okay? As Tony Robbins says, when would now be the time? As Paul said in the Bible, well, now is the accepted time. Not tomorrow or next week, now. Now. You know, when people come into business, and it doesn't matter what, whether you're talking about network marketing or whatever else. They always want crockpot results 
with microwave efforts. I'm going to say that again. People want crockpot results with microwave efforts. That ain't going to happen, guys. If you want to get to the top, you got to follow the mentors that are doing it, that are doing all the recruiting, producing all the volume, and do as they do. And it doesn't matter if you're part-time or full-time. If you're part-time and you do an hour a day, make it the best hour, you know, most consistent hour you can do and do that five, six times a week, okay? But you can't have this phenomenal paycheck in network marketing, right, on microwave efforts. You can't have crockpot results on microwave efforts, right? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You know, a, a farmer, now I put down a couple notes, a farmer can only get a harvest if he plants his seed. You can't get a harvest if you don't plant your seed. So you can't expect a big paycheck in network marketing if you don't plant your seed. What is the seed for network marketing? It's the daily dials. It's the conversations on Facebook and LinkedIn. It's talking to X amount of people every single day about your business. That's planting the seed, other, otherwise known as filling the funnel. And when you fill the funnel enough, some of those are going to come out on the other side as reps in your organization. Okay, but don't expect to harvest if you don't plant the seed. That's impossible, right? Okay, that's absolutely impossible. And the last, the last um, question every network marketer should ask themselves is, if not you, who? If not you, who? And I can tell you this, guys, that no one's coming to save you. Okay, No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to pay your bills. No one's coming to... Um, um, you know, pay that mortgage. No one's coming to pay that car note. No one's coming to do your grass. No one's coming to save you. No one's going to save you. No one's going to save your family. You have to do the work. You do. No one else. You can't depend on anyone else. If it's to be, it's up to me. Get it done. Those are the three questions, guys. Every network marketer has to ask themselves and if you guys are looking for a home, I'm one of the top network marketers in the industry. I'm the number one recruiter and money earner in my company, uh, Mint Builder. Click on the link below, take the online tour, and I personally will get hold of you guys. Okay, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please share it. Please subscribe if you haven't done that. And comment below. Let me know what you thought about the video. God bless you guys. Right? And remember, if it's to be, it's up to me. God bless you.